happy day students in this video we are going to learn a new topic of grammar that is prepositions what is a preposition from the name itself we can easily tell that prepositions will give you the positions of nouns or pronouns or the objects look at this example where is the bird the bird is in the cage it is in between the flowers and it is on the tree look at the next example he is walking up the stairs the man is walking up the stairs what is the cat doing the cat jumps on to the table where is the cat the cat is under the table so from these many examples we easily understand that a preposition is a word used to link nouns pronouns and phrases to other words within a sentence prepositions are usually short words they are normally placed directly in front of nouns let's get into the types of prepositions simple prepositions and complex prepositions when we are getting into the simple prepositions there are several types first one is place and position and the next one is direction and the next type is time and duration and source purpose and means the complex prepositions are more or less similar to simple prepositions but complex prepositions are made up of two or three words say for example along with instead of far from in front of and in spite of we have seen a set of complex prepositions now we are going to place an appropriate complex prepositions in order to give a complete meaning of the sentence look at the first example we should have taken a train dash this bus so here we have two options one is because of and another one is instead of we should have taken train instead of this bus so because of will not be an appropriate option so we are giving up instead of look at the next example our hotel is dash the beach our hotel is far from the beach otherwise apart from the beach so the correct option is our hotel is far from the beach look at the next example my car is parked dash the house the options are in front of and in spite of which could be the right answer my car is parked in front of the house let's recap in this video we have learned about simple proportions and complex proportions look at the examples of complex proportions instead of far from and in front of complex proportions are also similar to proportions but made up of two or three words hope this video is helpful to you to learn simple and complex proportions have a good day thank you